right there. Oh, we just slid through the checkpoint flag. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-N-R-G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are here on Forza Horizon 4. We have a showcase event to do, and then we are going to get down and dirty and try and get used to the uh, dirt physics here on Forza Horizon 4, as we almost just completely wrecked our S13, even though we pretty much wrecked it. So we are going to do some dirt racing, but we're going to head to the showcase that we do have unlocked so that we can... Uh, get involved with that we're just gonna rip our s13 all the way there though just because uh i mean we have it why not send it oh just a just a drop on the dirt we're good oh no we lost it so if you guys are enjoying forza horizon 4 let me know down in the comments section down below what's your favorite car so far because the game is now worldwide released not just for everybody who has you know the uh, ultimate edition so we have about a mile till we get to the first showcase and then we are going to uh, go full send that's a bus I do not want to hit that bus we're gonna go full send on that showcase and then we're gonna get to a dirt race or two this car is definitely not fast enough to do anything good in that speed zone so like I said we are going to get into dirt racing because uh, I want to make sure that the wheel physics and everything are good on the dirt and uh, see how it does. But I believe this is going to be a dirt showcase as well. You have arrived so, at your destination. perfect opportunity. All dirt. Dirt showcase, dirt racing. Probably going to pull out the Fiesta Rally car for some dirt racing today. And we're going to be in the Fiesta Rally car for this, so perfect episode. I believe it's just like the uh, intro and the demo. I'm assuming that's what the full showcase is. Maybe a little bit more zoom to it, but we will find out because we're about to send it in there. I do feel like it's going to be exactly like the... That's pretty sick. So, uh, motocross showcase in the Fiesta. So, how are you on the dirt? Pretty good, right? About Let's to find out. Drive. Are you better than, let's say, a dirt bike? Or okay. four of them? But are you better than four dirt bikes? Yeah, I knew that was coming. I mean, we're about to find out for sure. So, motocross showcase, it's just like the uh, demo, so we gotta make sure we do not wreck this time. And, uh. Alright, guys, this will be easy. Just don't miss the checkpoints and let's go. That's what I gotta worry about, not missing checkpoints. So, we are going to fully test out these settings in the dirt to make sure. Because uh, a few subscribers have been commenting that, you know, how how about handling the dirt stages and they're, they're having a problem in dirt with uh, not being able to slide in dirt. So we're going to test all of this today. What better way to start this episode than... Oh! Coming up on the quarry. Right there would have been the actual uh, where I would have lost it a little bit. So we've definitely seen this before in the demo as well as in the beginning of the game. But now it's the full one. Are we going to shoot the tunnel in this one? Probably. Trying to stay smooth on the dirt because I did find if you stay smooth on the dirt, then the car doesn't, uh, doesn't hey, Blue, lose it on you. Ooh, two wheel that. We're gonna cut this a little bit, like he did. There we go. Pretty much staying in fifth gear. Don't lose it on those trees, because we can't lose these guys like we did in the demo. Oh, I just tagged that guy. I hope he's okay. Red down, red down. I hit the blue guy, so we didn't take. At least we didn't like hit the red one, and then they said red is down, because then I would have felt like a, like a real jerk. No, you're not. Because I'm still here, buddy. 
So apparently he did still beat me. I feel like that was bound to happen. Don't worry about. Oops. Run it again. They'll be overjoyed. I feel like we'll just take it. Take our showcase at the end of this one. Have a sip of our uh, adult beverage here. Little uh, Milwaukee's best for today's episode. Nothing super, super exciting. So, and the showcase it handled good. So now we're gonna get into some dirt racing to see how it actually handles in the dirt, per se. Uh, we're gonna have to definitely get into our Fiesta. I believe there's a dirt race right in front of us. It's a perfect timing, so we're gonna go there and hopefully we can choose our car before we get in there, because there's no way I'm gonna use this S13 in the dirt. I mean, I could try, but I feel like I would definitely lose. Rip a, rip a couple donuts before we go in. Please let me choose car. Solo. Change car. There we go. That's a nice thing to have. So we're definitely going to go to our Ford little Fiesta rally car. Rally monster here on the dirt. All wheel drive. There we go. White horse trail rally monster. So... Yes, I want to use that. I just selected that car. I feel like I need to change my little emote. Did unlock some uh, other emotes that I could, you know, do. Like flossy and stuff like that, but I don't want to be that guy. That guy doing the flossy in the beginning. So, <laughs> today, dirt all over today. Definitely enjoying this VS that sounds amazing, looks amazing. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. White Horse Trails. Hill Trial, or Trail, Hill Trial, Hill Trail, and uh, we're going to send it in the spring. Drop the hammer. We're still using full gas brake and clutch. I feel like I should just switch it to sequential for just no clutch in a rally car, but then I wouldn't be able to clutch if I wanted to. So this part is pavement. So hopefully we get into some dirt here because I forgot I don't have seven gears. We are just stretching the legs of this Fiesta right now. Ease up a little bit. Do this turn. There we go. Probably could stay in sixth gear though. A little easy on the throttle there. We gotta hit dirt at some point. Because I don't feel like this is going to be all pavement. If it was, this is not a, uh, a dirt race, but it is a dirt race, so it's like some of this has to be dirt coming up here. Got another uh, rally car up here. And here's where the dirt comes into play. So we're going to see how these wheel settings being on 900 degrees reacts in the dirt. Right there. Oh, we just slid through the checkpoint flag. I literally thought we were going to miss that. Uh, I could never do that again if I tried. Trying to catch up. So dirt is definitely different. You do have to anticipate what the car is going to do in order to catch the slide like that. So you have to either purposely pitch the car or anticipate how the car is going to react. Otherwise, the car will definitely come out from underneath you and you will just lose control of it. Like right there, I purposely slid the car in. I was able to correct it because I knew what the car was gonna do. I don't think we're gonna be able to catch him though before the end. Unless we can do some very trickery through this section and not hit trees. That was a greasy move, but we will take that. That was probably the best way to pass that. Holy crap. That was uh, an intense finish. Cut the corner, get the car sideways in our GRC Fiesta, and uh, slide our way into victory right there. Let's see, we got T. John, Aaron. Uh, let's see, we got Zeus Impulse, Usa 45, Refreshing Tool, McKizzle, Urgent, and who am I? Hamps Urgent, and who am I? Hamps are all the way down there. Oof. Sorry, guys. Driving tires aren't uh, aren't up to par right now. Sorry, guys. OGs as a team. Urgent Recall 24. Who am I? Hamster. Big shout out to those guys. Always uh, always coming in clutch when I need them and always uh, having a good time when we're online. 
we're going to be doing some more online sessions and some uh, public hoppers and stuff like that with the team coming up here very soon. Rally Monster T. Kind of want that super wheel spin though. So, Dirt Racing in Forza Horizon 4. It's on a wheel. It's very, very... Horizon, where we take playing in the dirt very, very seriously. <laughs> okay. Welcome to round five. Okay. So, if you don't anticipate what the car is going to do, it will bite you and it will, it will just lose... They'll just lose it from underneath you. So, unfortunately, that's... I guess just a characteristic of the game and uh, we're gonna try to find another dirt series this one looks like it could be fun so we're gonna have to make our way to it a little three mile run and we will be right there so this car is definitely a good on pavement as well on dirt I have a lot of fun driving this car Super excited when this car was in the game, being a GRC rally car. Because um, otherwise, I probably would have the uh, Focus RS Hoonigan Edition. But uh, this one's uh, a little bit cooler in my uh, personal opinion. I like the smaller one. Gotta get that influence board. Gonna rip the handbrake. So, all with drive. Sliding is definitely not uh, not my forte, and this ain't Nokia forte either. Definitely not my forte. I need a lot more because I'm so used to counter steering with my uh, rear wheel drive cars that I forget that I don't have to really counter steer. What's up, man? Ripping that rally car past us. There we go. A little bit of a hard long e-brake. I think my favorite part about this car is seeing uh, the fans in the back and they're actually working. So got point eight to get to this next race. We're gonna run this race in this car and see how it goes. If you guys notice on the back bumper, the TE Team Evil Rabbit logo, the new TE logo for our team is actually up on the uh, sticker store. If you guys want to download and put on your car to support Team Evil Rabbit, be more than welcome to as well as NRG stickers are up there as well. So, you have arrived at your destination. We are going to do this race here, Rally Monsters in the Dirt Series in our Fiesta GRC. I I, I selected it. Forza, hello Forza. Did Forza just freeze? Oh, I was gonna be like, did Forza just freeze? No. So, like I was saying, Dirt on this game. Definitely tricky. It's a lot harder, I've noticed, in 4 than it is in 3. Um, you actually have to anticipate it and catch it or purposely set it how you want it to go. Otherwise, the car will come out on you and you can almost not correct it. Um, I think that's just characteristic of the game and it's nothing that you can really adjust out of the wheel settings or, I mean, you could probably adjust it out of a car. But, uh, I mean, no, we're going to leave the drive car, drive car difficulty how it is because, you know, I'm having to go last minute to get these guys. So we're going to kill this race here as much as we can. Hopefully we can get a good start on pavement. The whole, like, right start thing when you're using clutch is very, very hard to get because if you don't get it right, you either have a slow launch or you stall the car. So the start on these is definitely a lot harder. A little e-brake click there. Catch that, there we go. Use my, uh, not e-brake, use my clutch kick to rotate that car how I wanted it to. Help. Nope. Ooh, there we go. See, right there, I think that is what some people are noticing where the car kind of comes out of whack and out of you're kind of out of control and it's almost impossible to get it back but I think that's just over correcting on my part and uh, I feel like that's the problem it's either an over correction which is causing the car to snap back the other way and making it impossible to gain control of it 
So we're gonna see if we can't catch these guys through this section. There we go. You gotta be on top of your game on a wheel in the dirt for sure. Cause uh, every little bump unsettles this car. Like right there. A little tap of the brake, the car became unsettled. Kind of floated off to the right, causing me to really lose control of the car. That was a really fast T right there. I think, oof. I think it's gotta be the tires or just maybe the setup of the car. Maybe I could set this car up a little bit better to handle these bumps. And I think that's what, that's really what I'm feeling is the bumps are unsettling the car and I'm not ready for it. I'm trying to catch these guys. I'm trying to probably overdrive these turns a little bit too much. I'm not gonna catch them. So we are definitely gonna have to run that one again. And uh, I'm right behind him. That's so cool how they show that. I'm gonna run this one again because uh, I definitely don't want to take uh, fourth in this race. Even though you don't really have to win, I don't really want to do that. So we're going to drive this again and try and see if I can not hit the wall like I did there. So you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. Got some people, uh, looks like messaging me on, uh, Instagram as well as on, uh, oh, YouTube. There we go. There's a stall. So there is one thing I want to touch base on, uh, the end of this video uh, I did make a setup video and I just noticed that some people are asking me why I shows me having wheel rotation instead of and they have sensitivity and I'm wondering if it has to do something with the settings if you're on simulation or normal so I'm definitely gonna look at that real quick before the end of this episode oh right there was a bit of a overcorrection so now I'm going to have to definitely make up some ground here. As much as I can. Trying to just not lose control of this car. I want to rip the e-brake, but I know I shouldn't because I got to be smooth in the dirt in order to do that. That's That was very mean. Sorry, T-John. Kind of just uh, slid the back end of my car in your DMs right there. I gotta try and catch these guys. I don't want to finish fourth. I would like. I mean, I'd be okay with a second, but of course, you know, I really want that first place. So I gotta try and not overflip this car through that section. There we go. Woof. That dramatic change from dirt to pavement to gravel definitely changes how this car handles. I am kind of fighting this car a little bit, but... Ooh, right there. I think we're probably just going to end up taking third on this one. What happened? Oh my gosh. Anna, or Cortana, what did you do? Oh my gosh, Cortana. That's called a major, oh, just a tap. It's called a major fail on Cortana right there. They should know that I don't need them when I'm in game. I feel like we're just gonna take third at this race and we will touch base on that setting real quick and see if that's what I'm seeing. So we'll take third. Would have liked to take higher, but you know, we'll take third. So, dirt racing definitely a discipline that you really need to uh, get good at. You gotta be smooth, you gotta anticipate it, and those bumps, those bumps will float the car the wrong way. And it's almost, when it gets floated like that, it's almost impossible to catch. But, definitely still had a lot of fun, took a win. The showcase took a win in our event and uh we took third in this one but you know didn't get as much influence as we should but we did get us we did get a wheel spin so let's see what we win on this wheel spin common black cargo pants all right 
should probably uh, take off skinny jeans and put some cargo pants on. So we're going to check this setting real quick and see what everybody is commenting on, see if maybe that's a difference. So what I'm going to do is because what everybody is asking me is why put an accent I show wheel rotation no sensitivity so I show wheel rotation right here so now if I go back and if I go to difficulty settings and I turn steering on simulation and I go into that is it still is there wheel rotation or sensitivity there's still wheel rotation I don't have sensitivity people are commenting that said they have sensitivity if you guys have sensitivity on yours, what wheel are you guys running? Because um clearly right there is Is it assisted maybe? I'm just trying to figure this out. Nope, I still have wheel rotation. I'm not sure what people are saying when they show sensitivity. So if you guys do have it where it shows sensitivity, let me know um Turn everything off, 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 and off. Let me know what uh, your settings are. Either send me a send me a screenshot of what you're seeing on your um, on your game. Send me a picture on Instagram at you know Evil Rabbit 07 and so I can see what you guys are talking about because a lot of people are commenting about that, and I'm quite curious because I have wheel rotation. So let me know on that one, and let me know what you guys have setting wise. So I feel like we're gonna go rip this uh, little roundabout real quick. See if we can't get a decent all-wheel drive roundabout slide. And then you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All that you found in the description box below. There we go. See, this is what I need to do to practice all-wheel drive drifting. Because I'm so used to counter steering a lot when you don't really have to. So, <laughs> as always... I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys next time.